streaming now. This is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great day so far. The downtown Market here in Grand Rapids has been killing it lately with some pretty awesome events. And that trend continues this weekend with the first ever Boho Bazaar this Sunday. Now, what is a Boho Bazaar? Well, we're about to find out because we are once again joined by Alex Witolski. She is the Special Events Manager over at the Grand Rapids Downtown Market. Alex, great to see you again. Thank you so much for being here today. Hello, great to see you as well. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And you know, that is my first question to you. What exactly is a Boho Bazaar? I'm sure a lot of people are wondering that same question. Of course. So Boho Bazaar is going to be a pop-up market featuring various different vendors that ho have bohemian style items. So we're going to see a lot of crochet, macrame, we're going to have some stained glass, we'll have candles, we'll have crystals, um, we'll have a lot of different jewelry that ranges from polymer clay to sterling silver to permanent jewelry. So we're going to see a lot of different items at this event. Mm -hmm. And exactly how many vendors are going to be there? I know uh, doing a little bit of research on this, there's going to be quite a few filling up the downtown market there. I mean, how is it kind of uh, as sort of the process goes on the behind the scenes aspect of this, Alex, how was it kind of trying to find all these different vendors to really fill up the downtown market? Yeah, it's been an absolutely great experience. We are contracting with about four, over 40 vendors. I think we're at about 44. So we should have all of those vendors on site on Sunday. And we are very excited. I reached out to a couple different local pop-up markets and, you know, Arts Marketplace, which hosts small artists at Studio Park is a great option too. So I reached out to a couple artists there and we were able to really create some great connections between small local artists and a great event that we're hosting on Sunday. And we're showing some of the items right now, some of the things people can kind of expect to see, and they look really amazing. I mean, just talk about, again, you already mentioned just some of the things that are going to be part of the Boho Bazaar market, but I mean, just looking at these, I mean, what sticks out to you? What are some things that really catch your eye that you think a lot of other people are also going to be very interested in? Yes. One of the things that I'm the most interested in is stained glass, just because that's one of my personal favorite items. Another thing that I'm really excited for is there are some art pieces that are done with dried flowers that are done for display, which are really cool as well. We will also have some home remedy companies that are doing things like tattoo balm and things like that and different soaps and, and uh, tinctures and essential oils and things like that as well. We'll of course have macrame, like I mentioned, some stuff that's featuring, you know, disco balls, and then we'll have hand stamped and printed textile materials like tea towels, aprons, tote bags, things like that. So there's gonna be a really great range of products and we are very, very excited. Absolutely. And, you know, this is a rather unique event. As I mentioned, I was pretty unaware of what Boho Bazaar stood for, and you did a great job kind of explaining that. But with this being such a real, you know, rather unique event that you guys are bringing to the downtown market, why was it something that you thought would be a good fit for you guys and bringing it to really the rest of the, us here in Grand Rapids? Absolutely. So we've done pop-up markets in the past, of course. We've partnered with Vintage in the Zoo for their Vintage and Handmade Market event, which we will also be hosting this summer. We'll have three dates for that. So we know that pop-up markets are really popular with the local community. So we were interested in hosting events that had a little bit of a different theme than you may have seen from other events that we've hosted in the past. So that is why Boho came to be. So we were excited because it's similar to the vintage style kind of a market, but has a little bit of a different product line. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I do want to remind everybody watching that if you'd like to know a little bit more information regarding the Boho Bazaar at the Grand Rapids Downtown Market, you can find everything you need to know over on our website, woodtv.com right now. But before we let you go, Alex, you know, we always love having you here on the live desk, but I want to hear from you, you know, for people that maybe are on the fence, maybe they don't know if this is something that they'd be interested in. Why would you consider coming out? Why would you, what would you tell people to really get them over the hump and get them to be able to come out to the Grand Rapids Downtown Market this weekend? Absolutely. So we will have our Boho Bazaar from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are going to have over 40 vendors that are ha going to have a great array of different products for you to peruse and purchase if you're interested, including macrame, stained glass, candles, homemade remedies, all of that sort of stuff. And then, of course, you are always more than welcome to stop downstairs and grab a bite to eat or a little, you know, scoop of ice cream after you are done shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, really a perfect way to spend your Sunday. Alex, thank you so much for being here.
being here today. One last time, want to remind everybody all the information regarding the Boho Bazaar at the Grand Rapids Downtown Market this Sunday can be found right now over on our website, woodtv.com. If you're watching us on Facebook, we've got links for you down in the description box and in the comments section. Alex, thank you so much for being here today. We really do appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.